Hello and good evening and a very warm welcome to a special program called Cricket Predictor on NewsX, powered by One Expand. In yesterday's IPL showdown, the Mumbai Indians, a five-time champion, faced a crushing defeat against Kolkata Knight Riders, marking their exit from the playoffs of the IPL 2024. Kolkata's victory at the one kid ground after 12 years, where their last win against Mumbai dated back to 2012 was indeed a historic moment. Opting to bowl after winning the toss, Mumbai restricted Kolkata to 169. Quite achievable at till that point of time. With Mitchell Stark's formidable performance securing four crucial wickets. In response, Mumbai faltered, succumbing to 145 all out with Venkatesh Iyer's impressive half century and a notable comp contribution from Manish Pandey, notably Tusara and Jasprit Bumrah showcased their bowling prowess, each claiming three wickets, while Hardik Pandya made a significant impact with two dismissals. Wow, two dismissals and my team starts writing it as a significant impact. That's interesting. Valiant half-century of 56 runs and 35 deliveries remained a highlight amidst Mumbai's defeat. Turning our attention to today's highlight, Highly anticipated clash, it's Royal Challengers Bangalore versus Gujarat Titans at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore, with Bangalore's uh, languishing at the bottom of the pool table, having won three out of their ten matches and Gujarat Titans placed eight with the four victories in ten matches. The stakes are really high between these two teams. Let's see what happens. I've got a team of... Uh, well-known people is my panelist, and I thank them very well for joining us. Uh, we've got Sutherland Vishwanath, who's a former India wicketkeeper. CM Gautam, the man who stirred controversy last evening by calling Mumbai Indians uh, think tank as the chief reason for their destruction. Uh, former IPL player and Mumbai Indians player. Sanjay Rawal, ECB development manager, the man responsible for... Uh, getting the talent up to the blocks, and Tatinda Ziambe, cricket expert from Zimbabwe. Of course, I'm Sunil Yashkalra, and I welcome you on the show straight off with Tatinda. Tatinda, what do we have today? Who are we playing? What are we playing for? And how depressing it's going to be between the teams <laughs> at the bottom of the pyramid. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is a matchup of eighth versus bottom of the table, number 10. That's uh, what is crucial here, I guess, if you're looking at both teams, uh, with Gujarat, unfortunately, uh, they've had the slowest run rate in the IPL. They've scored the least amount of runs. <laughs> and going with that, they've got the, le the, the, the lowest average. And it's not just in certain phases. In the power play, they're the lowest run scored and the lowest average. Of all the 10 teams. Of all the 10 teams. In the middle overs, the same thing. And finally, in the overs 15 to 20, it's exactly the same. They just cannot seem to get runs on the board when it matters. And that has been the Achilles heel. RCB, on the other hand, the last uh, two games, Virat, uh, Virat Kohli and obviously Duplicy and Karthik, they've needed some, some, some support. Patida, uh, Wog, uh, and, and Jax, those two have come uh, together. So now it's starting to perhaps come together, maybe a little too late uh, for RCB. Uh, that's why you might look at it, especially considering that they're at home. They'll probably be the favorites with Gujarat reeling, perhaps under the pressure of the IPL this season. Well, who do we go first? We've got a huge panel today. Gotham, you're the first man. Who are you supporting today? After the outburst, emotional outburst, but very pointed, yesterday for Mumbai Indians. Now, who, what's your feeling about the Bangalore team? Over to you, Gautam. I think uh, Bangalore, uh, last two games, they did really well. I think they showed their uh, intent and uh, true potential, what they can uh, uh, bring to the game, you know. Especially with uh, Virat and uh, Cameroon Green and Rajat uh, Patelar uh, firing all cylinders. So, I think... Uh, Playing Gujarat will be like uh, one of easier games, I feel, playing at Chinnaswamy Stadium. <laughs> and again, the toss is like a crucial uh, factor here. And it's been raining from past two days uh, in Bangalore. So, having said that, I think the toss plays a crucial role, like what, what happened yesterday in Mumbai. Gautam, what has the team become into? Just imagine, you've got one of the three best players in the world, Virat Kohli, Maxwell, Faf Tuplisis. Suddenly, they lost the track. Does it hurt you to be a Bangalore? a uh, fan somewhere in the deep heart of your growing up in the city? Yeah, obviously it is uh, disappointing, you know, the kind of batting lineup they had. I thought they'll have a good IPL. Obviously, their bowling is not that strong compared to the batting. 
but even the batting has failed this season to be honest with you and uh, maxwell you know is uncertainty is you know like one season he does well the other season he doesn't do well and he's been inconsistent throughout, throughout his ipl career whereas uh, faf and virat has been consistent to, for rcb from past two years and this year even faf was not uh, firing at the top so the it was like a one man show virat getting runs and even people are criticizing him for slow over it <laughs> i don't know for what. i really don't know for what but uh, he's been uh, phenomenal this season and he's batting beautifully i think well the disparity that gautam is talking about is virat kohli's 500 runs second in the table with 10 innings in ipl 3 not outs average of 71 strike rate of 147 Uh, one century and four half centuries as compared to Fab Duplessis, 288 runs in 10 innings, average of 28, strike rate of 159, just two half century. And these are the two top batters that we have for Royal Challengers. Rest everybody languishing into 200. Look at the disparity. Again, this question is for, uh, I'll come back to Sadhanand Vishwanath. Sadhanand, when you have a disparity yeah. like this, your top scorer is at 500 which is virat kohli the second highest scorer is at 288 does it bog down does the team feel the pinch in the dugout yes they do feel the pinch they feel the heat actually so then having failed to come together as a unit this particular season rcb have really felt the heat but after six losses on the trot they had two amazing victories and we almost toppled kkr in their home turf we just lost by one run so now when the question the million dollar question is will jacks come good again so we have to look at it in a positive note now so then let's forget about what's happened and i know that the middle order has not clicked i know that the batting has not been consistent but now we've got to stay positive and we are clinging on to a flimsy thread of hope of making the playoffs actually kate was wrong if rcb win the remaining four matches we get to 14 points and we still have a good shot at making the playoffs so the other night It was a great game between Mumbai and uh, so uh, the Gujarat boys. Yeah. So I'll just uh, wind up over here, Sudan, saying that yes, I think uh, we are looking for Will Jacks to come good again, because in the company of uh, the senior pros like Virat Kohli, Faf, and the other senior players of RCB, I'm sure Will Jacks can come up with the fireworks again and enthrall the Bangalore crowd. You will see a flurry of boundaries and a rain of sixes happening the same day in the small Chinnus Swami Stadium, which will be jam packed. with the sea of red it's going to be an enthralling match sadanan i have to ask you one thing where do you get all your enthusiasm and positivity for rcb from what <laughs> milk do you drink uh, fans want to know that it's nice to be a jack in the box you know and talking about jack in the box i remember jack russell the english wicketkeeper yes, the right. painter the painter yeah and actually you know what so then nowadays he's making a fortune out of his paintings so it's very nice to be a jack in the box It's very nice to be a bubbly, vibrant wicketkeeper. Because if you see a cricket team with a vibrant, oh my God, I forgot. How can I forget your antics? If you see a team with a bubbly, vibrant <laughs> wicketkeeper, he will be leading the way. You know that 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 particular team is a fighting unit. You can make out a good team by the wicketkeeper. I'm sure Gautam will agree with me. Absolutely, Gautam. You're a RCB fan, but you don't seem to be as enthusiastic. But it, that's the old Southern and Vishwanath of 1985, egging Lakshman Shivarama Krishnan and getting into the under the skin of Javed Miyadad, Ramiz Raja, and and just getting the wicket out somehow. Gautam, are you as enthusiastic as Southern? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, I was pretty upset last night after uh, Mumbai Indians defeat. To be honest with you, and. Uh, Having said that, yeah, it will be a good game. Uh, will Jacks coming into the party? So, looking for a good entertainer today in Bangalore. Uh, we are going to watch the match in the evening. So, we yeah, are looking forward for the game. I know, but but again, I think more than the runs, more than the losses, I think it's the fans that have rallied around this team called RCB. Do you think they feel betrayed, cheated, or they are as enthusiastic as uh, Southern? they are like very very uh, they are very very sentimental and emotional towards the team to be honest with you like wherever you go it's rcb whether they win or lose they don't care you know they get they obviously get hurt when they lose but at the same time they're always back the team and they always like come in like full crowd and uh, they always cheer for their team so the enthusiasm is always there for rcb i think sanjay rawal do you get you are in england right now and you've been watching the ipl from there 
what do you think is going wrong with RCB? I mean, considering you're you're well entwined in the IPL uh, know-how. I like to ask one question: 2008 till now, what's why uh, they haven't even uh, reached uh, to get any trophy in their hands? Uh, well, the women okay. have won last year RCB, but again they. <laughs> but they have, uh, I mean, you know, they have a batting lineup. But yes. what about part of it? I mean, I see, I mean, you know, a, a big name like this uh, coming into it. They play a couple of games and they uh, injury comes into play and mental God knows illness. What mental illness comes into play. Yeah, fatigue is there and everything. But I mean, like you, you mentioned about three guns. Uh, there's only one gun is fly, uh, firing in all cylinders. Where are the other two? South Africa and the Australians. I mean, you know, when it comes to their country, I mean, they perform well for the country. I mean, in a World Cup final, I mean, you can see there and also the Afghanistan. So, I mean, uh, Maxwell, I mean, uh, he should be sort of, you know, I mean, spending this amount of money franchise, you know, again, he's not performing uh, and things like that. And now I think he's out of the team for, I believe, uh, uh, for some reason. So, he's I don't back. know. He's back in the team. Yeah, Maxwell he's... is playing today, I think. Oh, okay. So, uh, basically, I mean, you know, I mean, I've been watching. I was in India for almost a month. I only just come back uh, let's, a week. Let's, ago. okay. We've had enough of Australians betraying the IPL system. Let's talk about your English team. What have they been up to? Just rattle out. The come on. English team. English players. English players at the IPL. They, they are the, they are the same. I mean, you know, look at David Bristow. I mean, he's another one who, uh, you know, wasted from the beginning, and then now he came good with one century. So, you know, one inning doesn't really help. Uh, you have to consistently perform, like uh, you know, Gautam was saying earlier, and uh, Vishwanathji was saying earlier as well. So, I mean, you know, you have to, you got to give one hundred percent. English right. cricket is, uh, I mean, you know, the founder of the game, but they can't engineer the uh, master of it. So, the master is our India. I, I, I quite like your uh, term. Is that the reason why you are the best kept export from Indian cricket to the ECB board? Is it fair to say? Well, I mean, I, I speak my mind, you know, whatever I see, I see. I mean, even in my meetings and everything, I said what I see, you know, and then... Uh, they have to because at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's no good uh, rubbing in uh, and say, yeah, right, this happened and that happened. Nothing like that. I mean, it has to be, you know, I mean, if I was a franchise owner, I expect, you know, you can't expect player to perform every match. But I mean, you know, now and then, but this is uh, failure after failure and failure. And same thing with England as well. Uh, English player yes. as well. Uh. Tatinda, let's go on to you. Mm -hmm. There's a good sense of enthusiasm, I thought. Uh, you know, we'll talk about uh, RCB in a very soft tone and, and talking about losers. But Sutherland changed the gear. He just put us on yes. the fifth one. <laughs> Tell us what's going for RCB today, considering the batting uh, lineup of uh, Gujarat Titans. Go on. All right. And uh, just before I get on that, just to respond, Mr. Sutherland, and sir, uh, I did say that uh, they, it may be a little too late. <laughs> I said... <laughs> Yeah, I did say that it was maybe a little too late, but there's still that room for you guys to perhaps make it. <laughs> well, that was an interesting part. Go on, come yes, on. Yes, yes, come yes. on, Tatinda. Okay, so what, they, what they've got going for them right now, as we, as we said before, uh, uh, Jax, that century that came in, uh, obviously that came at the best possible time because this team was against the ropes. Uh, and even before that, Patida, I know I mentioned those two in particular. And uh, we're going to talk about Glenn Maxwell a little bit just now, but if we're looking at those two, uh, with this kind of form and considering what Maxwell has been through, he had to take a bit of a mental break, this might allow him to come a little lower down, maybe between five and six, and maybe alleviate him of that pressure because you know obviously at this point, you need to have the players on form, uh, trying to put runs on the board. So uh, I mentioned as well uh, that, you know, um, Gujarat have got the lowest run rate, but they're not as good with, uh, with their bowling. Yes, RCB, we know in the league right now, RCB have taken the fewest wickets, but Gujarat is not that much better. They uh, have only taken about uh, seven more wickets than RCB. So I think if RCB coming in on the wave that they're coming in, two consecutive victories, if you know that you can get either Jax or Patida to give you something, 
Glenn Maxwell, who knows what you're going to get, but they might perhaps look at this and say, wow, we've got an opportunity to get a, a, a win here. Well, you've got an opportunity. Let's take a step back. This is a pointed question to Sadar and Vishwanath. When we look at the team yesterday, not the batting lineup, but the team dug out. And it's an important question. Yeah. What do you get? Okay. You get Mark Butcher, you get Pollard, you get X, Y, Z from all the other nations. And when you look at the KKR dugout, you have all Made in India stamp, Gautam Gambhir, you have Abhishek Nair, you have Bharat Arun, you have the works. Now, Chandra Khan Pandit, how can we forget Chandu Pandit? Yeah. Chandu by doing the job. Be. Yes, go on, tell me. Do you think uh, the foreign coaches are also not very impressive and very uh, this thing when it comes to the team's performance? Go on, take all think, your shots. I think, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. So, then, wonderful question. And I think that, uh, you know, the foreign players, after they retire, unlike the Indians and the subcontinent players, they market themselves very well. They're very good in their roles as a coach, as an empire, as an administrator. Their marketing skills are superb. And that's why these franchises pick them up. Because their communication skills are good, their man management skills are good. Although they don't strike a chord with the local players, you know, they have got four or five international players in the team. They don't have to talk very much with them. They have to actually try and nurture and groom the domestic players, you know. Mm. And these domestic players actually are making their teams win. Many teams are also depending a lot on the local players. But coming back to your question about why aren't Indian coaches being given is a good Is that Sorry, level one. Yeah. The question is level one, two, three. I'm answering, I'm yes. answering that point. Come, come, so come. What, I'm, yeah, what I'm trying to say is I have spoken to Rahul Ravid. I have spoken to Vivian Lachman. I have spoken to the board officials too. Because I too have, am a level 3 NCA qualified coach. And we all thought that we might get a break in the IPL. But that has never happened. It's just been a far and few bit in between. Just a few coaches get into the IPL. And I would like more and more Indian uh, coaches to develop their skills and to come into the IPL franchises and see what magic they can do. And uh, it's my request to the BCCI and the NCA to see that Indian coaches are uh, pushed up to the IPL league. On, on that note, Sanjay, I asked you that question in the prior program, but I want to ask it on this channel, NewsX. How many co Indian coaches are there in the hundreds for English cricket board? As far as I know, I don't think there is any coaches of uh, Indian coaches in the uh, hundred ball. Thank I mean, you. Like, uh, Vishwanath ji said, we have Chandrakan Pandit who has won six Ranji Trophy, Ranji trophy for... on a trot. And, uh, and uh, uh, for different, different states, Sanjay. Yes, I think twice different. or thrice in Vidarbha, from different states, he's like been, been more like a freelancer. Yeah, he's, he's doing very well. Yeah, he's a wonderful I mean, he's, coach. Okay. Chandu Bhai, is, Chand a, a, you got, listen, I mean, in India, there is a very good coaches. Why, like uh, Viswanath ji said, why can we not have this BCCI and NCA get together, sit down and make a, uh, a kind of a roadmap Let's have the Indian coaches in uh, foreign soil. We have the in IPL. You got a uh, South African. You got uh, Australia. You got Why can we have no Indians, including in, a Netherlands in, coach, including someone who's played in the Netherlands uh, 2007 team, is a fielding coach. Fielding coach. Yeah, I mean, there's all uh, uh, James Foster is at K KKR. I mean, you know, they are various. John T. Rhodes at uh, Lucknow Super Giant. So you know, all these guys are. Uh, all big names and everything. What about our Indians? I mean, I, I work with the ECB very closely with the pathway cricket, etc., etc., with the academy development, you know, infrastructure and all this. With the so I see, I mean, I've, I've done the I'm a level three empire and ICC level foundation one. So basically, I've seen I've done a lot of high level game. I see many, I mean, why can we not have these coaches? I mean, I've seen players who come in out retirements and now. Uh, look at the empire side of it. What Jay Shah has done now, uh, he has put in uh, young empires into it. Now, uh, slowly, slowly, the uh, empires from foreign soil coming very minimum. I mean, I've seen many Indians, young Indian empires coming into equation, which is fantastic news. Let's have the coaches the same way as well. Why should we not have uh, domestic Good point, uh, Sanjay. I've got to just told you there. Move on to important point. Gotham, you've been in the dugout for far too long to understand the IPL. I want to carry forward Sadhana Vishwanath's point and ask you, 
do the foreign coaches, former players know how to market themselves or are they good at man management of the Indian? That's why you've got the Vittoris and the Stephen Flemings of the world. Andy Flower, is, have they borrowed the template from uh, Gary Kirsten? Just manage two or three good Indian players and rest everything falls into place. Your views? Yeah, no, what I feel is like, uh, it depends on the franchise what they want, you know. Uh, all these uh, coaches, they do well in their, uh, what do you say, Big Bash or uh, PSL or Bangladesh Premier League and they win trophies there. Seeing that, these people pick up this, these coaches from all over the country, all over the world. And IPL is obviously a global tournament. It's no more a domestic tournament now. So having said that, uh, it uh, depends on the franchises and the team directors. For example, when I was playing, John Wright and uh, Anil Kumble uh, was a coach and mentor. Where Anil Bhai played a very, very crucial role in picking the team and giving roles. Whereas John Wright was looking after more of a man management side, you know. So if you are very well defined about your role in the team, the clarity is very, very important. You know, if, if you don't have clarity, it's going to be like very, very tough. It's sad to see top three teams, the big names, the ones who played really well with several trophies are languishing at the bottom of the pool. Uh, Sadhan Vishwanath, what's yeah. wrong with the Indian coaches? Let's put to that very briefly and then move on to today's match, uh, match up today. They, Indian coaches are amongst the best in the world, like Indian empires do. Little Menin had a tremendous Ashes series just a few months ago. And uh, yeah, I think we Indians have done extremely well in all walks of life all over the world, globally. We have proved our intellect, we have proved our integrity, we have proved our loyalty, and Indians are respected all over the world. And uh, for example, if you talk about cricket coaching, yeah, there have been some tremendous Indian coaches who have been a huge impact on their respective state units. Lovely. And also nurturing and you know, growing young talent from a very young age. And I am confident that Indian coaches will start coming into the IPL in a big way and take the responsible roles as a coach mm. in the IPL franchises, what Gautam said. I hope the franchise owners give the Indian coaches an opportunity. Absolutely. What, what does your heart say today and what does your mind say? Who's going to win? Who's going to cross the line? RCB. RCB all the way. Because Gujarat are coming here after being walloped the previous uh, <laughs> outing at home in Ahmedabad. They got a sound hi hiding. And yeah, uh, Shubham Gill and his boys are here. You'll see, try and seek revenge, but I don't see that happening because uh, RCB are, are going to get their act together and they're going to look to try and climb up the ladder and perhaps make that astonishing, you know, that the playoffs finish. Mohit, uh, this question is for Gautam. Mohit Sharma, Rashid Khan, Sai Kishore, Umesh Yadav. Do you think they're going to pack a punch for uh, Virat Kohli and the co? Gautam. Uh, I think uh, RCB are coming into a nice momentum, winning momentum, you know. They played really well against SRH and uh, convincing victory against uh, Gujarat in the last game. And having said that, uh, the bowling looks a little bit on the weaker side, uh, too much dependent on uh, Rashid Khan. Right. And even Mohit Sharma started the tournament really well and now he's like all over the place, <laughs> you know. And, and at the same time, even RCB, they're playing really well, they're playing good cricket, Will Jacks is in form, Virat is in form. And even FAF is getting in, Patida is batting well. So, it, it, it looks like RCB batting versus uh, Gujarat Titans uh, bowling tonight. So, you are the RCB, uh, you're, you're raising the RCB flag. Yeah, I'm with RCB tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Sanjay, you seem to be the, the most uh, neutral voice here. What's your take today and why? I think I, uh, RCB all the way. Uh, I think Gujarat uh, Titans... I don't think uh, they will cross the line, but uh, RCB on their home ground, they have the records, they have the track. So, I mean, they all the way. I mean, for me, it's uh, I think Gujarat uh, Titan uh, should have uh, eaten the Gujarati Thali before they left for <laughs> Bangalore. But I think uh, RCB all the way. I mean, they, you, you can't, can't help much. You can't help much with the Gujarati Thali, especially when it's been... <laughs> Exported Correct. to Mumbai Indians, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen, for, for sharing your views, pointed, and observation. I thank all my four guests here. Well, that's all we had time for. Keep watching. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.